Hello everybody, I'm Sniping as Fun, and in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys a review of Lego Harry Potter years 1 through 4 on the Nintendo Wii. Um, like I said, I was looking to do any review, if not if if any at all, or just a small amount of reviews, because I wanted to move on and do other things as well, but this game and another game I rented just previously, I wanted to rent for a while, and they were out for about 5 weeks or so. Every time I went there, the games were not in at all. I wanted to do a review of this, so I made an exception here. I was going to do a review of both, a review of both, and then I decided, instead of doing a review of both, let me just pick one game out there that I want to review the most, I picked this. The other game I rented, of course, was Toy Story 3 on the Wii as well, and I was like, I could always do a review of Toy Story 3 in the future. I'm going to review this, because I want to review this more. But I don't have the game on me, because it went back today, so I can't really show you a case or what the disc looks like, or like anything like that. And then when I took him back today, I did rent some more games, and I'll show you those later, which I might do a review of one, if not both of them. Both Nintendo Wii games. But before I start my review, though, on LEGO Harry Potter Years 1 through 4, I wanted to show you a few things I bought throughout the last week. We start with, um, stuff, um, last, um, Friday, when I took the, when, you know, when I, remember when I rented the dollar PS2 games, and like I said, I got Dragon Quest 8 for a dollar? Well, I was able, when I took it back, I went and I bought it for four ninety five. It was it's a dollar game to rent for five nights, but it's four ninety five to buy. And I decided, okay, sure, it's a pretty fun game. I like RPGs. Let me play it. I bought it for four ninety five. And then a VHS tape that was on sale for seventy nine cents at um, Family Video, Taylor Moon S the Movie Hearts and Ice, which I've never seen before. But if you guys know me, I'm a Sailor Moon fan. And I'm sh I never tried this yet, and I'm sure the VHS tape will work. And anyways, it's worth it. It's 79 cents. It's cool. They had another VHS tape there, but it's only basically some episodes from um, Sailor Moon Super S, which I already have those episodes all on DVD, so I really don't need to buy it, unless I want to be a collector, which if it doesn't go for a while, maybe I might buy it. I don't know. And then, also on last Friday, we went to Best Buy, and I found the Slayer's Complete Collection in the first three seasons, Season 1, The Slayer, Season 2, Slayer's Next, and Season 3, Slayer's Try, for $50 at Best Buy, which is a pretty good deal because it's about, um, how many episodes? About 70? Right. About 78 episodes or so. 78 episodes or so in DVD form. About, oh, oops, about 12 DVDs there. I think. About 12, and I'm sure every, f no, there's more than 12. Yeah, there's 12, actually, but every four DVDs is one season, I think. And, you, do, you know me, I'm a Slayers fan, and like I said, the reason why I bought Lost Universe, the thing was pretty much because it would look like Slayers, and it reminded me of Slayers. And anyways, it was a sale, and I was able to get cheap. Yeah, there too, and I still haven't watched that yet, either. One day I will. And this, I've been watching season two since I got it. I can get this thing on there. Pete. Oh, oh, whatever. I'll just play on after the video. And then last Saturday, I went back to Hot Hits and I bought a couple of used Nintendo 64 games. I was able to get Star Fox 64, which I've never owned before, but I did play it at my friend's house years ago, and I like Star Fox series pretty much. F Zero X, which I used to own this game, and I sold it. I felt like a minute, but I sold it. I got it again because I love the F-Zero series. If you know me, I'm still waiting for an F-Zero on the Wii, and this game is cool. And, Golden Knight 007. I never owned this game before. I rented it back then, and I played it at my friend's house or so, but I've never owned it, and it's a fun game. And then, today, I went back to Hot Hits, and I got Wave Race 64, which I used to own, and bought it again, and a game I never owned before, but I, I, see, I played a demo of it before, and I've heard good things about it, and it was a decent price there. The RPG Legend of Dragoon for the PlayStation 1, and I've been playing this eventually. I haven't played this yet since I got, I, when I got back today, I played Wave Race, but I didn't play that game yet. But now let me get to my review of Lego, that's what I wanted to show you, but now let me get to my review of Lego Harry Potter Years 1 through 4, which this video is supposed to be about. Um, Lego Harry Potter one, Years 1 through 4 is just another game in the Lego series that's been going on since like 2004, I think it was. 
2004, I think, with um, the original Lego Star Wars. Um, but this time it's Harry Potter, and it's the first four years of the book series and movies. Um, the gameplay, it's pretty much like previous um, Lego games. The, fo the magic of spells is, is kind of like the force from um, the Star Wars games, Lego Star Wars games. But unlike that one, which you pretty much get the force at the start, this one you have to learn your spells throughout the game, like through classes you take, and you can buy spells in the shop. And besides that, you can also buy characters in the shop. You go to Diagon Alley, you can buy the, you can buy characters. But in order to buy the characters, you have to you have to find stuff throughout the, like the game. You have to like find these little like they're like circle, um, character pieces or so. You get them by doing stuff in the game, like by, like helping people out or so, and you, and by doing certain challenges or whatever during the levels. And um, you unlock them, and then you can go buy them in the store. And then you can use that. You also go to buy the gold bricks and to buy. You can buy spells, like I said, and you can pretty much buy. Um, you can do cheat codes, and you can buy those red blocks to the red brick things as well. Red cheat code stuff. Um, and the actual game takes place through the first four years of Harry's um, school years and Hogwarts. And basically, you just complete challenges. You use the, and you have some. In some challenges. You use your spells and you have control over where to put, like, you know, to build steps or something, to build something to be able to move on to the next thing. In other ways, it's kind of like previous games where you just hold the button and you, you, you can put the pieces together if you have them all or so. And there's puzzles to solve and you fight little enemies in some the level as well. The graphics presentation is pretty much like all the previous um, uh, LEGO games. They're all LEGO form and the game is presented in like a humorous way. The characters don't have voices, but they have little grunts and whatnot, and they add humor to the game. And I think it's like when it comes to graphics and the, like the presentation, like in the aspect of graphics, I think it looks a little bit better than previous games, but not much. But it still, it's pretty good. The story, it basically is just all I can say is years one through four for Harry, the Harry Potter series. Sorcerer Stone slash Philosopher's Stone, whatever you want to call it. I know it's called Philosopher's Stone originally, but they changed it for America. So, so I'm basically, so whoever's watching this, you will think it's named two things. Although I'm used to Sorcerer's Stone, but I, I don't really, and I'm used to it, but I could call it both if I want to. Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, and Goblet of Fire. I only was able to make it partially in the Chamber of Secrets. To the point where you're about to go to the dueling tournament when they find out Harry's uh, parcel tongue. But um, I did beat the first year though. The sound? Basically, the sound is what you hear from Harry Potter movies, like the whole background music and everything. you And like the credit songs, and just, you know, the songs that are made for the movies, and I like it. I like the Harry Potter music, it, it sounds good. And multiplayer? I didn't play multiplayer in this game, but I have played multiplayer in Lego Batman and Lego Star Wars series, and um, if it's anything like that, then it's fun, and LEGO games are fun to play together. So in the end, basically, it's a fun game, it's a good LEGO game, and there's lots of extras in the game and unlockables. You can go back and you can do missions, you can unlock stuff which can help you unlock characters to buy, and spells, and the red blocks and gold blocks and stuff like that. And there's lots of little things in the level that you'll have to search for, and sometimes you have to go back to levels using spells you get in future years, or spells you have to buy from the shop, which help you complete certain challenges that you weren't able to do back in like your first or second year, pretty much. <coughs> and all that kind of stuff. So in the end, they get the gameplay an 8.5 out of 10, the graphics presentation of the game an 8.5 out of 10, the story of the game a 9 out of 10, the sound of the game, an eight, a 9.5 out of 10, and the multiplayer of the game, an 8.5 out of 10. So in the end, I give LEGO Harry Potter years 1 through 4 on the Nintendo Wii an 8.8 .8 out of 10. And I recommend it to anyone out there who's a Harry Potter fan of the books or the movies, or if you're a fan of the Le or even the video games, or the LEGO games, or even both. But if you're not so sure about the game yet, I recommend you rent it before you buy it. But if you know for sure you're going to enjoy it, then just go buy it. It's pretty much, you'll enjoy it anyways. And that's my video. I hope you guys enjoy it.
peace have a good day please subscribe and just to let you know please check out my cousin the insane gaming geeks channel i just i'm going to put it put it in the annotations i want you he needs viewers and he wants me to help him i want to give him some viewers and look out eventually for insane gaming geek versus anger video game there too i'm currently working on a little promo to build up for the match not promo but you know like build up like little cutscene like backstage stuff and the match should probably be out by the end of this week or sometime next week hope you guys enjoy this pe pe peace and like i said please subscribe and i'll see you guys later